The seaweed liquid fertilizer can solve all type of leaf problems very efficiently. In this video, we will talk all about seaweed liquid, its benefits, the right way to use it and some of its side effects. So keep watching and don't forget to subscribe. Seaweed fertilizer also known as seaweed extract, is basically the extract of weeds found in the depth of sea. There are certain types of such weeds, that are used to make this organic fertilizer. It provides our plants several benefits, but it's majorly known because of the microelements and growth hormones it contains. It also provides us many other benefits, so let's talk about them one by one. First benefit of seaweed fertilizer is that it promotes the growth of plant, it contains some growth hormones that enforces the plant to grow bigger. Seaweed fertilizer also contains trace elements, like calcium, magnesium, iron, zinc and so on. These elements are required in smaller amounts, but have major roles. For example, the shortage of magnesium causes yellowing leaves and calcium deficiency results black spots, this way every element is related to a leaf problem somehow. Hence the regular use of seaweed liquid can fulfill these deficiencies and automatically no leaf problems. Seaweed liquid can be used to soak seeds, as it helps in better germination and faster root development. As the seaweed is a liquid fertilizer, that's why it gets into the roots quickly and shows their results within days. It also have a good amount of potassium in it, that's why it is very useful for vegetable and fruiting plants, to enhance their taste and color. Plant treated with seaweed liquid tends to have lesser leaf problems, the leaf color and size will be better as well. This thing can be very useful for foliage plants. Seaweed liquid contains certain compounds that are toxic to nematodes, which are also called as soil pests. It is also very known because its regular use can make the plant resistant of stresses caused by drought, temperature fluctuations, pests infection and so on. Seaweed fertilizer also improves the quality of soil, making it more useful for the roots. It also prevents the soil erosion, if used regularly. Seaweed is a high-dose fertilizer, that is a very useful thing about this fertilizer. But here we also need to use it more carefully, otherwise it can cause serious damage to the plant, on which we will talk at the end. For making a liquid fertilizer out of seaweed liquid, we need to follow right ratios, as concentrated form can harm. For that, take a liter of water in a bottle, and add around 10 ml of the seaweed liquid. You can also buy a pure quality seaweed from the description box. Now you can mix this solution evenly. This way our useable seaweed fertilizer is ready to use. As it is a liquid fertilizer, you need to apply it carefully. For that first loose the upper layer of soil, and let it dry out a bit. Now you can apply this diluted seaweed liquid on the soil. Use around 100 ml for a 10 inches of pot, at the evening time. It's an organic fertilizer, a little up and down is okay but don't go much far. This way you can use this liquid every two weeks within the season. You can use seaweed fertilizer for all plants, especially for heavy feeders. But avoid using seaweed liquid on plants like cacti, succulents and newly repotted plants. And for the seedlings use only a small amount. For cacti and succulents, you can use this homemade fertilizer, details are linked in the description box video. Now let's talk about some drawbacks of seaweed fertilizer, and how we can overcome these effects. The first thing is the alkaline nature of seaweed fertilizer, once applied it raises the soil's pH and this thing can be a problem for flowering plants. To deal with this, you can limit its usage, on such plants. Or you can use compost, because it helps in balancing the pH levels. And you even can turn your kitchen waste into compost, details are linked in the description box guide. Other thing is the smell of seaweed liquid, this dark green colored liquid have a bad smell like most of the other organic fertilizers, but once it's absorbed by the soil the smell will be gone. Another side effect of seaweed is that, it is a high dose fertilizer, and can cause burning of roots, and a stunted growth of the plant. So follow up the ratios described previously. Seaweed fertilizer is not a balanced fertilizer, and that's why using only this fertilizer can be a bad choice. So to give a balanced dose of nutrients to the plant, you can use compost tea besides seaweed as an alternative source. Complete guide on that is linked here, must check it out.